Hello lovers, welcome back to my channel guys. Guess what, we gotta make this real quick so ain't no time for the whole commercial thing. All I can tell you guys is to subscribe, hit the bell, uh, click the notifications for all. Yeah baby. So anyway, real real quick, y'all see it's two, thing one and thing two. So this is Taraji and Olive. Um, Olive is the new girl, let's zoom into Olive. That is Olive. Olive is my custom private order. My orders are never really custom because I don't really take orders that are customs. I take orders that allow me to do what the hell I want to do. <laughs> I know y'all be like, oh, I can't stand her. Like, seriously, I can't stand me either. Like, for real, I don't like me either. Like, ooh, girl, I just want to slap myself. But girl, what? I wish a would no i'm just playing anyway for real seriously um both of them are the mealy sculpts by ping Lao. um oh guess i better move my phone but yeah so i started to put her on shoes but i realized that the white sandals that i had that i thought they could be matching shoes was not uh her size so i was like ah, oh, one can't have on shoes and not the other so anyway i got distracted and never got finished um but yeah, so I picked up these cute little outfits the other day. And so um, I'm sure um, Olive will go home with hers. Um, Taraji actually have it in blue and pink. Yes, girl. Y'all, yes, honey. Um, the print is different, but I love these type little outfits. I love the fact that because of the upper torso, they can wear these things. But let's get into it. Let's get into this, baby. Listen, German vinyl, you guys know, this is only probably maybe my, what, one, two, three, fourth time maybe painting German vinyl. Um, and I was, like, not into it. Also, um... I don't know I just feel like with regular vinyl I'm able to get a lot more detail into my work but I, I I took my time and I really 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 tried really hard to be able to do um all of the way that I would do my other ones so um basically I was competing against myself like I wanted to make a better Taraji like the first time I painted Taraji was like my first time really, really, really trying to tackle not only German vinyl, but a pink, yucky color on top of everything else. And, and it being a toddler and trying to put connectors together first. So I was so many fears with me. So I kind of tried to keep her fairly simple so that I didn't mess up. But I just went all I, I'm, I'm going to say all in, but I still feel like if this would have been other another vinyl, of course, um, I think I would have even had a, a lot more detail. But I don't know. I think I did pretty good. But, um, you know, we always hard on ourselves. But her mommy loves her. I love her. I actually wanted to keep her. But, you know, she was a private order. So I couldn't even I couldn't even be like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to sell this one, <laughs> which I really wanted to. But um yeah, so I didn't do that. So she's, like I said, she's she's very detailed. Um, she has beautiful veining and, um, you know, just certain little marks I heard her mom mention in our conversations over time I wanted to incorporate. Um, like you guys, is in the uh, chat box. I showed the back, her back or whatever. And, um, you know, the, the little mole is more personal to her mom. Um, I too have a mole on my shoulder like that beauty mark um, so I, I just think it's cute uh, but anyway I think I improved I think her eyebrows are nicer than um, Taraji's I think that I did better with her uh, like I said she has more motlin um, in her I think she has a lot more little fine details in her as far as she <laughs> Taraji has like three veins I think um, where <laughs> We're into like Olive probably have like 10. I don't know. Like, you know, I'm always being silly about the vein thing. I'm like, oh, let me see how many veins this baby got. But yeah, um, so really, really love this sculpt. I will not be painting another one, not for myself, not for anyone else. I am like, oh, I'm 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 over it. I'm moving on. Um, it's not my favorite, uh, it's my favorite one of my favorite sculpts, but not my favorite to paint. Um, sometimes I forget that until I get into painting. I'm like, oh God, 
you know, or whatever, but I really enjoyed painting this baby and I didn't have like no issues with mommy. We just really enjoyed the process together. Um, listening to mommy shop and all this great stuff. Mommy is kind of like a semi-private collector. So, um, I don't know if you guys are going to see all of as much, but I will try to get her some more photos before she get outside the door. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and kind of give a backstory of Taraj, uh, Olive, um, and just share with you guys that, you know, she just was, let me see if I could take you guys off the stand. But, yeah, let's see. So, focus, 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 focus. Yeah, but, you know, as you can see, like, she's just not just flatly painted. I did try to give her detail. Um, Taraji has detail as well, but as you can see, I just feel like, I don't know. I just, I just feel like, uh... Taraji, and I've always said that from the beginning, I think Taraji is beautiful, but I don't think she's my best work, but I do really like Olive. <laughs> but it only get better the second time around, right? So if I did it a third time, maybe I could do even better, who knows, but I'm not going to see because I'm not doing it, not with this particular sculpt here. Um, the next few babies that I pop out that I share with you guys are going to be unavailable just because... I started them last year and um, I started them last year looking out the window for my daughter to show up. I started them last year um, orders and they pretty much finished up. Some of them were just waiting on hair. So um, I will be showing another baby that I finished, but I actually finished um, him this, this um, January um, or February. I don't know. But anyway, um, <laughs> so, but I am working on babies that I will be putting up for sale. So, um, stay tuned. Um, I am working on some, some different ways of maybe selling my babies, uh, and seeing how that go. I actually am also working on like cuddle babies and different little projects that I didn't think I would try doing. So stay tuned. We'll see how it go. All goes well. Um, I will show them as they're completed. I, uh, like I've expressed to some people that have PM me, a private message me and, you know, ask me what sculpts I'm working on. I prefer not to say because a lot of times when I say what I'm working on, I start to get a lot of messages daily about when they're done or what color they're going to do. Or sometimes people like to inject what they think they, that, that kit would look like. And that kind of bothers my creative space. So I am trying, you guys know I'm not no master artist and I'm not like, you know, one to be able to, you know, just, you know, I just kind of go and I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not a master artist. I've, I've only been painting for a couple years versus, you know, a lot of people have been painting for 20, 30 years or all their life. They have a whole art background. I, that's, that's not me. So, um, I need all my little clear head spaces I can, I can get. But anyway, let's get into this little girl. Let's see, let's see. Let me see. So, her little hands. And, um, I think on this sculpt, to me, the hardest part is painting the arms. I, I really hated painting the arms, to be honest. Because of the way... You have to try to hold them, and I don't use the little stick things. I'm pretty sure the way I paint, I make things more complicated than it has to be. And that's probably why I cry a lot about a lot of stuff. <laughs> Always complaining because, you know, I don't have, you know... Okay. I'm going to say this and people might get offended. I don't have artist friends that we share back and forth. Some people have shared some things with me, but this is why I don't sh I don't even get into that. I just try to figure things out on my own. Um, some people have shared, like I said, little things with me, like especially like I have one um, artist friend sh tell me how to make the uh, stand for partials so that I can get into partials. I'm just not into partials, period. Like I don't care if you nail them on the cross. I don't particularly like to paint partials, um, which is why I sold my other Alex sculpt. I, I got that one sold, um, so, or at least it's reserved to be, you know, picked up and gone. So, not picked up, 
like from my house or nothing like that. But anyway, that one is, you know, something that I alleviated from having to paint. I really don't don't want to paint partials. Um, I don't want to paint caudal heads either because again, it's kind of like painting partials. But I do happen to have a couple here, and I will say that I do have about four cuddle heads here that I do have to paint. I'm not gonna waste my money, so eventually I'm gonna have to paint it. So I'm I'm working on some things. Um but full body is my full body painting is my passion. I love it. I really, really love it. Um with the last baby, I and the last two full bodies I painted, I learned. I tried something different, different technique. With the last one, I kind of mouthed it down a little bit from Vegas, but I think that the next baby I do, I got an idea of how I want to paint that one to perfect it even more. So I'm really working on a lot of my techniques. A lot of, um, you know, the main thing is working on um, just the realism, the colors, the um, the matting process in the end, that's what silicone with reborns, um, for me, it's the fine details. I'm really working on that, the texture, what texture I really like the most because, um, Taraji is, she was more sheen and then I, in the end, I decided to go with a more matte finish. Olive is a little in between. Um, her mom has a baby from me and she has the in-between texture. I know she likes that. So I kind of went with an in-between with her. Um, and I like it. Not too sheen to wear when on camera she looks shiny per se, but not to the point where she looks dry like a painting on the wall. I don't like that thirsty look. Um, but that's just, these are just some of the things that I like and don't like. And that's why I like to paint for myself because, you know, it's, I'm able to like try things out, see what works. And then when the baby sells, you know, the mommy likes them. They tell me they, you know, and then I, I can do it again. And it's also easier to work with people that you've worked with in the past too, when you're doing customs and personal orders because they're familiar with your work. So you already feel a little bit at ease because you know they're comfortable with, you know, your, your process. But anyway, so that's, that's a little of that. But yeah, um, so with vinyls, my favorite, oh gosh, my favorite is uh, actually painting newborns. I prefer newborns and, um, yeah, I prefer newborns and I prefer, uh, I don't know. I don't mind toddlers, but I just like the regular vinyl. I just really don't want to paint the German vinyl, but I've realized that I can. I just don't feel like, um, I feel like it, over time, I will get better at it and be able to add just as many details. Like I said, I feel like with Olive, I was able to do more with her vinyl. And I know a lot of other people say, well, oh, so-and-so paints them all the time and they don't have a problem and they do it. Yeah, we, we, all, we all are different. We're all on different levels, you know? Um, and so people, I think a lot of people think that I've been painting for a very, very long time compared to some of these people. A lot of people in this industry, um, that kick out customs and do all this stuff. They've been doing this stuff way longer than me, like way, way longer than me. Um, so anyway, I've been enjoying it. I'm, I'm really enjoying, um, like I said, I was telling the chat about this and I know I've probably been saying this a lot, but I've really been enjoying like exploring different sculpts and different, um, kits and different, you know, it's just, it's just, well, it's kits and sculptures, right? but you know what I mean? Um, both on vinyl and silicone, uh, ends, it's just been really nice. So I'm, I'm so excited. I'm expecting some kits, some silicone, um, from other silicone sculptors. And I'm just so excited about it because, um, it just feels good to get like something like totally new and, you know, just be able to bring it to life. And, and, and the whole vibe of knowing that, you know, this is not, may, may not be the most popular sculptor out here or a big name and, and to be able to make, see if you could turn that baby into something just as beautiful is, 
you know, just, just a fun challenge for me. You know, I may not be able to do it. I don't know, but I like trying it. It gives me something to do. Um, I think I don't like, I get bored quick. I don't want to keep doing the same thing. Um, I know in the past I painted like multiple multiples of certain kits. Um, that was because I was in the learning phase. Um, the reason why I paint the same kit more than one time is because I'm trying to accomplish a look or a certain technique with that particular sculpt. And it, it allows me to see the comparison on an even playing field. If it's the same sculpt and it, with a different result, then that's different. If I paint different techniques on a different sculpt, then the look of the sculpt might change the way the out the outcome the the end result looks if that makes sense you know like if you have Halle Berry and Pookie from New Jack City and you you can't compare those no matter if they both wearing the same Dolce and Gabbana outfit you know what I mean like it's not it's just not the it's not gonna work I don't know some of y'all don't even know who Pookie is from New Jack City but it was a crackhead but anyway y'all get what I'm saying it's just yeah so yeah I'm just I'm just out here trying to learn and um but I'm also having so much fun and I'm also um just trying to do other things you know and you know like I've been you know I don't know I can't get into that right here but it's been a lot going on behind the scenes with me and I'm, I'm very excited. I'm just, I'm excited with, with the upcoming changes. You guys will see them as they unfold. I've learned my lesson about talking about them ahead of time. So let's just stay tuned and I hope to be able to pass some of the goodness off to you guys. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.